contribute to that either. That makes a lot of sense. Well, you know, speaking of reality TV, like, listen, you have all these great accomplishments, but I want to talk about your other great accomplishment. Let's talk about your friendship with Lisa Rinna. I mean, we have to put that up there as far as like things you've accomplished in life. Where, <laughs> where did this start? Funny. What is it? What is it? Like what brought you and Rinna together? Uh, well, I adore Lisa. I mean, obviously. And um, she, we met, we've met socially. Brad knew Lisa socially. Um, throughout the years. Um, so I had met Lisa several times um, previous to our social media friendship. And then when I started becoming like a thing on social media, she started responding Gary to my posts and we started kind of having this weird also relationship where we kind of communicated a, a bit through social media. So through that, that's how we became close and we became um, actual friends as opposed to acquaintances. What is the best thing about being friends with Lisa Rena? <laughs> She'll tell us what's going what's going on behind the scenes on Beverly Hill. <laughs> we, get, we get the inside scoop. We'll just text her for it. <laughs> That's I mean, listen, you watch all the housewives, right? We watch all we do. We pretty much the only housewives I think I've never seen is an, any of is Dallas. Everything else. Yes. Well, Dallas is canceled anyway at the moment. Yeah, so I never saw it. Uh, you know, it. there was just, I, I, you know, but we've seen all of the others uh, and we watch, um, yeah, all of the others now, mm -hmm. Beverly Hills being the favorite. What do you, that's by far your favorite? Not by far, but it's, it's our favorite. I think we both, um, yes. What do you think, you know, you're in the business, you know, like, what do you think of like some housewife developments? Like, you know, the fact that we're going to have two Ronies now, we're going to have two New Yorks. I mean, do we like this? Do we not like this? I like this? that. Do I know. I love that. I think it's, I think it's smart. And I think it's, I mean, I don't know who is going to be on either show. So it's also it's hard to completely say, cause I don't know who the casts are, but um, I think it's a, I think it's a, a clever idea to you look, these shows are our modern day soap operas now, you know, these, and, and I think that Andy was genius and kind of, a, Andy and I have a similar love of soap operas. We grew up on ABC soaps, All My Children, One Life to Live. And um, he kind of saw, you know, that this is a way, the current way to kind of create soap operas. And it, it was very prescient because now these shows, it used to seem like they would have to end at some point, but the way they replenish casts and now you can kind of split it up, you know, New York, they can go on, you know, I mean, Days of Our Lives been off like, you know, 50 years. So, I mean, who yes, knows, you know, how long, but it's a very, uh, yeah, interesting way. And now we look at it like, I didn't like that season. I like this season, you know, it's like, you know, you have this, it, there's this kind of acceptance and understanding that they're going to continue going on. And just like soap operas, to your point, it's like people came back all the time. Let's bring right. this person back. Like That's Sheree is back on Atlanta. So for me, I fucking love Sheree. So the fact that she's back on Atlanta is now Atlanta's appointment TV for me. Because I'm like, Sheree's back this season. Like I've missed Sheree. I think she's one of the best housewives ever. that there's ever been. She's just so funny. I and, um, agree. I just love her. <laughs> She's got given the best moments. And Marlo has a peach. Atlanta's, I think it's going to be a good love Atlanta Marlo. season. Love. Yeah, yeah. Love Marlo. Always love Candy and Kenya. I'm very happy with like the season, like the, the cast of the season. But I love Atlanta. What about, and this, it really doesn't have that much to do with Nini. It's just me because I say things here that I have my own opinion. Like, can someone come back? For just as a someone who's worked in Hollywood, I'm just curious what your opinion is. Like, you know, like Nini is suing Bravo. We don't need to get into all the logistics of that. But like, can someone do that and then come back? Just in your opinion, as far as someone like who has worked in Hollywood? I'd like to think that they could. I thought Nini was, was terrific on the show. And I think she's also like so funny and she's such a big part of Atlanta. I don't know the specifics of what's going on. I haven't followed it, um, but um, I, I do. I would hope that they're, 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 that's possible. You know, there's a resolution. I always hope resolution in anything is, is kind of possible. Same here. Well, you know, Andy often says, I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but Andy often says, you know, we might toy with the idea of like a gay man as a housewife. Not he's open to all different cities and, you know, who knows if that's going to happen. So if that ever happens in Beverly Hills, would you ever be interested? You know, <laughs> they want a certain age. They want someone to be accomplished, have things going on. This sounds like you, Gary. <laughs> I don't know. 
Uh, I don't like going out and I don't like drama. So I can't imagine that we would be a very good fit. I was going to say, well, what about Brad? I mean, what if Brad was the housewife and you were the house husband? Then you don't yeah. have to go out as much. Again, I don't like to go to parties. I don't like functions. I don't like events. And I don't like fighting with people. And I don't like drama. So I don't see how, how that would be a good fit. That may not be a good fit. What about like before we wrap up, I have just two more quick questions. Like as you watch Beverly Hills and you get spoilers, like, listen, a lot of people dislike your good friend, Lisa Rinna. A lot of people say she is like, you know, Billy and like Taylor McBride have nothing on Lisa Rinna. Like this is the role that she was meant to play. Like the genius, most brilliant housewife of all time. Like, yeah. where do you fall? And when you watch and like you see things like, oh, Lisa, stay out of it. Like, do you scream at your TV, even having spoilers, like where you'll call Ren and say, like, listen, girl, like, you know, you're stirring it up here. Like, come on. I've never had, I mean, I get that, you know, it's a TV show, so I don't take, I'm not so invested in it. Like, I'm not like a crazy person who's like talking back to the thing. So no, then nothing has happened where I feel like, oh my God, you know, I'm just like, I, I think she's great television. I think she's smart. I think she's funny. Um, and anybody who is a strong personality, who has strong opinions is polarizing. And it's just the world we live in. You know, there are people that, you know, can't stand me and my, you know, it's like, that's just what it is. If you have a strong point of view about something, you'll always, so I think, yeah, she's, she's very much her own person. And I think that's why she's such good TV. I, I think so. I mean, I think she's one of the, one of the greats of all time. And yeah, so do even I. though you say you're not a crazy person, you don't scream at the TV and you know that it's not real, <laughs> you would be surprised. I'm not sure that. <laughs> most people understand that but as we wrap up what do you want people to take away from this brilliant book oh Start well without me. <laughs> you know I think I would like when I was a kid I was very lonely and and, and up until I graduated high school and I was always kind of looking for a connection and if the book connects with anybody who has felt similarly and and that I, I would like them to take away with like being seen as somebody else who kind of recognizes that um, in you and in me and stuff. And if people kind of, yeah, feel like, oh, I'm less alone now or somebody else kind of gets this. If anybody took that away from it, I, I would, that would make me super happy. Well, I took it away from that. Okay. You know, you're, you're like Jim story and it, it's really fucking funny too. So, you know, Thanks, thank you David. for writing a bunch of essays that are really funny. And you know what this means? The next time you come back, you're going to be promoting your third book because you know, you don't oh, have God. two New York Times bestsellers. <laughs> I mean, I hate to give you things. I'm just thinking somebody at the oh. publishing company has you like your name on a board today. And they're like, 